as you know, we have a number of initiatives that we have rolled out in our organization and, and our staff are just doing such a great job embracing those initiatives and, and helping to raise the bar, whether it's through our clinical technologies that help drive our outcomes or using some of the data that we've used to create best practices. You know, our employees are, are so dedicated to what they do in providing outstanding patient care. It is really uh, the, the, the driver of everything that we achieve as an organization. You know, our key initiatives are working because we measure the outcomes and the results they help us to achieve. And so whether that is our net promoter score, patient satisfaction, or discharge to community, our opportunity to grow our stroke programs with additional admissions for stroke patients so they're in the right setting for care. So we're, we're a group that measures uh, a lot of data because we think that data drives the results and makes us a better organization. Our ultimate goal with our patients is to allow them to reach the maximum outcomes and functional achievements they can get. And hopefully that will lead to their ability to go back home to their community. That is our ultimate goal with our patients. And so if we get them back to the community, that means they're not being readmitted back to the acute care hospital where they came or another acute care hospital, or they're not having to be discharged to a skilled nursing facility or, or, or a lower setting of care. So, our goal of the ultimate success for us with a patient is to get them safely back home. And you can see from the three different graphs on the screen how those trends have paralleled across through the last three years, going back to the first quarter of 2021. You can see the progress we're making in each three of those categories where discharge community, the higher the score, the better, and then discharge to acute or skilled nursing facility want the lower is better. So you'll see the downward trending on the last two, on the discharge to acute and discharge to sniff, and an upward trend in the discharge back to the community. So that's really how we measure a lot of our success and our ability to care for our patients. So you may hear us refer to the NPS or net promoter score, and it's just that. It is a patient willing to recommend us or promote us? Are they satisfied with the care they've gotten and the care that we've provided or the collaboration with our caregivers and their families? And were they satisfied with the results? And you can see that the multi-year trend, once again, in, in terms of our results, we've done quite well. It's an area that we really focus on, not only the functional outcome, but we wanna make sure that the patient and the family are satisfied with the care that they've received from our hospitals. As part of our DNI program, we're really focused on you know, eliminating uh, health disparities as part of the health equity uh, initiative. And, and uh, so that you'll hear more about us focusing on that uh, and, and all of our hospitals. It is a, it's getting a, a lot of um, coverage now in all settings of health care because there are a number of disparities that are out there that make it more challenging for certain groups in our population. We want to make sure that we eliminate or lessen those challenges for, for all individuals. So financially, we're off to a very strong uh, first quarter for 2023. And we really, once again, I want to recognize all of our staff for, for helping us to achieve the outcomes that we have from a financial perspective. We've had over 9% uh, discharge growth. Um, almost 6% of that came for our same stores. So we had the De Novos starting to come on. We have our same stores that were extremely busy uh, in the first quarter and, and ultimately they helped to drive uh, our revenue and EBITDA growth from a financial perspective. So once again, uh, I'm really thankful for all of our dedicated staff and making sure they're providing the needs for, for all these patients. And you know, it's just responding to increasing demand that we're seeing for the level of care that we provide in our hospitals. So thanks goes out to everyone.